can't believe Ben Franklin is helping us with this thing. Okay, many of you out there would love to design and develop with your own two hands. Objects and crafts were just household items, but a lot of you, me included, just don't feel the average person is crafty and creative enough to execute some cute little items correctly. Jason's mission tonight is to dispel that myth and break it down to us just how easy and affordable it is to make your own one-of-a-kind, personalized, beautiful things for your home and office. Hi, Jace. Hi, how are you? Good, 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 good to see you. And look who's okay. here, Jace. Ben, good amazing. Ben Franklin. <laughs> nice to see you as Ralph. well. Okay. All right. Okay, so I, I have no idea. I wasn't really clued in on this uh, segment, so let's uh, start. So we're going to decoupage. Is we're going to decoupage. Okay. That's what I've given for you. You can <laughs> decoupage almost anything. Flat surfaces are easiest, right. but you can do vases, glasses, pots, planters. And we are keeping with the electric theme, going to decoupage switch plate covers. And Franklin invented electricity. Well, I discovered it. You Lightning was electric. Oh, oh, right, right. <laughs> it was kind of there. Right there already. I got you. Okay. All right. So we actually have, uh, you know, run-of-the-mill standard switch plate covers. Okay. So rather than Boring. having this. <laughs> or, exactly. Exactly. Right. Rather than having this, you can search through your home uh, from gift wraps to, uh, you know, comics or collectibles. Uh, to uh, Photoshop altered. This is a, a broke back themed uh, 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 item here with Heath Ledger and, and Jake uh, Gyllenhaal. But you can take pretty much anything family photos, uh, labels, products, favorite stars, photos from magazines, etc., and use them in this process. Okay. All right? All right. Um, so what we've got is, is, is first taking a, a sheet of the paper. You need to mm -hmm. center your, uh, your, your plate out. And the, the trick here is to make sure that whatever's going to be visible is going to match up so that you don't cut out the major part of the artwork oh, through the hole of the switch, switch plate, right. right? So when you find it, you just take a, uh, a pencil and mark off uh, your position. Yeah, make Ralph work. Yeah. Yeah. And mark off your position so that you're able to find it. I'm able to find it. All right. Do I mark out the little hole in the middle too? No, you don't need to, to do that piece All right. yet. All right. And once you've done that, by taking a spray adhesive, right. uh, just a typical uh, spray adhesive, you can actually uh, wet the area that's going to actually adhere to the surface of the plate okay. and apply the pressure within the area that you've, uh, that you've selected um, to start the process. Do I need to hold this down or clamp uh, it or anything? Yeah, no, actually, if you just leave it there for a moment, the spray mount will start to adhere pretty quickly. That smells really good. Yeah, and you'll get, <laughs> a, you'll, get a, you'll get a little whiff. <laughs> and then you take a, a more heavy-duty craft glue and just apply it to your, your edge here, if you want to uh -huh. do that just around the edges. Oh, I'll try. Yeah, Ralph, come on. Get to work. <laughs> All right. Wow. Just around the edge. Uh-huh. Just around your edge. All right. All right. All right. So far, easy enough? enough? Easy enough. Yeah, that's plenty. Good. Uh, and once you've gotten that, the positioning correct, you've got a lot of extra paper here. You want to make sure that you leave at least an inch around the edge oh, of whatever you're doing. Because what you want to do is simply fold it over. And fold it again. Uh-huh. Okay. Huh. Fold it over. And then if you have too much paper, which we do here, you just trim it back to the level that you want. And this way you make sure that you've got enough room. You can even tear it initially um, to start to get your uh, formation together. So if you just want to fold all the edges oh, around. I cut this before I fold it. Okay. I, that looks like too much. All right. Hope I left enough. Yeah, that's good. Fabulous. And then you treat your edges more like a uh, more like a gift wrap. Just uh, fold them in. Uh, all right. Right, and then over. And then over. On your bottom plates. That's too much there. You know, I'm not very good wow, at gift wrapping, but going to town <laughs> over there. Unbelievable. This is great. Fabulous, all right. Maybe do my entire home. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph Archibald is going to take up his entire home after this segment. Perfect. It's all not, right. not and perfect, then, but. Yeah, and so <laughs> this close. is the back of the plate, keep in mind, so it doesn't need so to be doesn't perfect. Need to be neat, yeah. And you can take a simple palette knife to help to smooth and make sure that you're getting uh, the full application of the glue to the surface. Oh, yeah, I have palette knives all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you just curse? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then if you check the front of your plate, you can check to make sure that there's no air, bulb, uh, air bubbles and that you've got smoothness there too. Now, how do you make the hole, Jason? Well, that's the next step, oh, and that's okay, what you're here to do. Uh oh. So we have a pre-prepped one here. We'll let that one dry for a bit. A pre-prepped one here. Oh, I like this one. Uh -huh, yes. Oh, let's definitely get it. I, I like this one. <laughs> where, where do you think the switch is going to come? <laughs> I like this. Okay. All right. All right, nice. and you take a simple utility knife. Mm -hmm. All right. And you place your, um, your, your plate there, and then you do an X pattern, an X formation cut, just straight through 
the center, and you'll be able to fill it oh, if okay. you just pressure yeah. through. Don't do it while you're riding on an airplane. Corner to corner on each side, just a simple cut. And does it need to be on the back of an HX magazine? Oh well, no, that's just where I pulled that image oh, through okay. the latest oh, issue. Right, that's right. Okay. Right. An X. And now what you actually have is the ability to just flip these right oh, through okay. onto the inside, oh, and you take the same he oops the same heavy duty ad ad adhesive and go around the interior. Like that. Oh, look around there. Mm -hmm. See, he's better at that than I was. Oh, please, no, I'm not. I've got, you, the okay. gloop I got all the way. I got stuff all over. And then when you flip it over, you can actually just push the paper through. Wow. And apply the same pressure with your oh, yeah. palette or utility tool uh, to actually adhere that to the back side or the insides so that it's not uh, blocking the passageway any longer. Hmm. Cool. All right. And then ultimately, you have the the Tom of Finland. Hey, that's kind of neat. I mean. All right. And yeah. here, obviously, lots of uh, action. Does it go this way? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, be creative. Yeah. S switch it around every Oh, that's week. great. It's, it, it's going to get a lot of use, and you obviously want to protect the paper and, and the color that's underneath. Right. Um, right. And that's what I have okay. here, actually, is one that has a single layer of what we would call a, a finishing glue, right? Right. Uh, and it looks like um, the same as an Elmer's glue. Uh -huh. uh, when it goes on, and then it dries completely clear. Oh my so God, so you could put it right over. You oh. simply just put the glue, the paste, the decoupage paste, right over the top uh, like a finishing glue. And what this does is it, it serves two purposes. One, it helps to protect the color because a lacquer finish, like we'll look at in a minute, will make the colors bleed or pull the color out because mm -hmm. the chemicals are too harsh. Oh, and so okay. this will actually put a protective coating, coating over it to preserve whatever color is underneath. Oh, okay. uh, and it also helps to keep from, you know, uh, a lot of the bubbling problems that you get from a oh. lot of the flat finishes as, as well once you get the glue on there wow. uh, onto the strip. But that's surface. not waterproof, right? Uh, this would not be waterproof, uh, which is why you would want to use a harder lacquer treatment if you wanted to do a finishing touch, uh, which you can get them matte and gloss, but this would be an example uh, of a plate that has the hard lacquer finish now across the paper. Uh, and then, of course, you can come back with your utility knife and trim up all of the excess paper from the back mm. um, to finish it out. And you can use ribbons, paints, uh, other things on, on addition to the paper or the decoupage to do it. And you can do this to any items, uh, serving trays, m martini trays, switch plate covers are just some of the examples that wow. I've brought today. And this today. is just another example? Yeah, this is using mm -hmm. simple uh, beer can, wine label, and alcohol labels from bottles. Uh, pulling them off and adhering them using the exact same gluing process to the bottom of a tray and then putting a hard lacquer finish, which is per pretty much a permanent preservative of whatever's underneath it oh uh, once you get the hard lacquer on it. <laughs> wow, fabulous! All right, okay, and that's and perfect. It's simple. It was. Simple. It was. Yeah. Very cool.